Okay, hey guys, um, I got my hands on a 2G iTouch, not mine, but one of my friends, and they came out with the 2G Untethered Jailbreak, and I'm going to show you how to do that. If you're wondering why it didn't respond when I clicked it, I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, so first you have to download LibUSB, I'll give a link to you in the description, and, um, the unofficial snow. Now this will take an hour to download. Uh, that's how long it took on mine. But the reason why is it already has the patched um firmware bundle in it. That's why it's taking so long. But after it's downloaded, extract it and download libusb. And now you want to go to my documents. But and then you want to take your iTouch and you want to hold down the power button for power button and home button for 10 seconds or until you hear a chime on your computer then let go of the power button but make sure you don't let go of the home button and you'll hear another chime and then your eye touch and then um they'll say it detected a DFU mode iPod touch iTunes will pop up you can say restore but it won't let you but just exit out of iTunes I already did that so, now, if you haven't, that's a hard part, that part right there, because sometimes it doesn't work, but make sure the sound is turned up in, on your computer so you can hear. Just like, um, and also turn off your screen on your iTouch, then do it, and the pa slide to power off button will, like, appear, but just keep on holding down until you hear the chime. Okay, so now, I'm going to go into unofficial snow, unofficial snow, unofficial snow, and then there is a program called Run Me. Double click on that. And then it will say make sure your iTouch is in DFU mode. That little command prompt right there. So if it is, just press any key. So I'll just press I for iTouch. Then it will it will do all that and then a white screen will pop up on your iTouch. This is normal. Don't worry. File uploaded. Resetting connection. So... Now Apple Recovery iBoot USB driver. Command executed. Okay, exit out of iTunes when it comes up out of everything besides this iTunes OK exit out and it will automatically exit out now all you have to do now is minus out go back into iTunes um wait should recognize your iPod. So wait a second. Say OK. Now you want to take your keyboard and hold down the shift button and then click the button that says restore. So you just hold down shift then click restore. Now you want to go into the you know, my documents or wherever your download file went and then um, unofficial snow, unofficial snow, unofficial snow, IPSW, and then JB, which stands for jailbreak. So now click that, open, and this is the IPSW file, and it actually has a code in it to trick iTunes, and iTunes now thinks it is the, it's a real 2.2.1 uh, firmware update, but it's really not. So... Now just wait. Tracking software. Parent iPod. Now your iPod screen will still be white. And now turn black. Your iPod, I mean your computer made two chimes. I don't know, it may just be mine. Okay, now the Apple's coming out. And it's preparing your iPod for restore, just like you would restore it uh, regularly. Now 
I'll just wait. By the way, I do have my HD camera, but the thing is, for like all of HD cameras, you need a really fast processor. Well, it'll work with my computer. The thing is, when I upload my video, my new camera, it had really bad definition. So the, instead of using the little port, because you press the button and the USB thing pops out, I'm going to try putting an SD card in and then making the video, then taking out the SD card and put it on in my computer. Set up as a new iPod. I Let's see which one. Okay, so I'll restore to the backup of... Or I'll say set up as a new iPod. Continue. And then my friend's name is Matia. So M-A-T-T. Matia's. Matia's iPod. And it says automatically sync songs to my iPod. I'll, I don't want to sync any of this stuff because it's not, it's not his stuff. So say done. And it says sync in progress. So just syncing all the information. That thing took six minutes, maybe even longer. Okay. So as you can see, 2.2.1. And if I unlock the screen, dismiss, look at this. Stidia is there. I know not installer isn't there, but so what? Who needs installer? And so now I have a jailbroken 2G iPod Touch. Totally working, not a scam. Open up into Cydia. Oh, wait. I have to go into Wi Fi. Oh, sorry guys. But as you can see, is the real Cydia. I just don't have his Wi- I had his Wi-Fi- my Wi-Fi set up on his iPod and then um I just did this so messed it all up. But that is how you jailbreak a 2G iPod Touch. Easily takes a while but easily and untethered. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped. Bye guys.